Okay, so over the next week or so, thousands of Idaho high school seniors will be hitting the hallways for their last day of classes. For Boise High, that was today. And then they're going to be taking those steps across the stage to get the diplomas, setting out on the rest of their lives. Earlier this week, we spoke with seniors from Midvale with a graduating class there of just eight. And as far as we could tell, the smallest in southern Idaho. Today, we're going the opposite direction. Boise High School is not only the oldest high school in this part of the Gem State, this year it has the largest graduating class. So we wanted to get a gauge of the next generation from those who have spent their formative years in the center of Idaho's capital city. Boise High's class of 2023, like a lot of others, began their high school years in the middle of a pandemic. I think that uh, I think that took a toll on everyone. It was definitely weird. I appreciated the break at the in ninth grade. I felt like it was good for my mental health just to kind of take a step back and like think about how the world is just bigger than you and that everyone is going through the same thing. It was definitely tough not seeing your friends, not being around other people. I'm a pretty social person. I like interacting with people and having that taken away from you can definitely take a toll. It's also like a big lack of motivation to like just get up in the mornings and like immediately hop on your computer in your room. Like it was like, that was definitely a barrier that I had to get by. But then coming here, it was hard to like connect with other people because you were just at home, like seeing the little bubble of like their last first name, you know? And connecting with classmates in Southern Idaho's largest graduating class. I think 530 about. Could be tough. 528 students. Yeah, that's in your graduating class, but not as tough as you might think. Do you know everybody? I would say I recognize majority of the people could put a name on probably over half. Wow, that's pretty good. Do you know all of them? Probably not, but I would say like 75%. Really? Yeah. Are there perks, pluses to being in a big class, a big school? Yes. The different perspectives and different stories um, you get to hear from everyone and different personalities, I think allows for you know, more collaboration and just a better environment. That environment has enabled engagement not usually seen in other smaller schools. I think that you're seeing kids at younger and younger ages like that are out here like actually wanting to make a difference like there's kids 15 who are starting protests and like I feel like that's something we haven't seen in the past. I think that's the one thing I like about this school is that we're very aware of the world around us. Um, hi, I'm Rosara Albizo. I'm 17 and I go to Boise High School. Next fall, she'll be attending Whitman College, studying political science and Spanish. You know, I was 11 when I attended my first protest with my cousins. Um, and then I've continued to be involved with student activism um, in order to try to create positive change. In some places, and I'll include Idaho in this, mm -hmm. An activist, being an activist or activism mm -hmm. has a negative connotation. Yeah, <laughs> um, it does. Um, I think people will, I think, label you as like a, someone who's trying to rebel against rules that don't need to be broken or norms that have been there for years. People are comfortable with what is happening in society right now, but I think a lot of us don't have that luxury of being comfortable. Um, and so I think I'm okay with being labeled as someone who's like rebellious um, in order to achieve that comfortable comfortability that I haven't been able to have. We've got a lot of student activists at Boise High, which is super cool. My name's S.D. Tietrich. Um, I'm a senior at Boise High School and I'm 18 years old. Esty will be heading to Oregon State to study biology and pre-med. She wants to be an orthopedic surgeon. Elections, I mean, there's a big one coming up next year that you'll be a part of. Mm -hmm. I'm excited. Why? I don't know, I just think that voting is a really important thing to do um, and that lots of times young people don't vote and I think it's sad that we have this opportunity whereas like other people in the world don't and that young kids don't take advantage of it. Although a lot of uh... People may not like our generation. I think that there are a lot of people that are really want to make change. Hi, I'm Evan Goode. I'm 18 and I'm a senior at Boise High School. Evan is planning on studying entrepreneurship at Loyola Marymount in Los Angeles. I'm uh, really big on business for good. I'm like it's really easy to make money when you don't have ethics. It's a lot harder to make money when you do. Um, and so one thing that I'm 
really hoping that I do is I can uh, work for a business or help start a business that actually gives back to the world. You see like the, the extremes that are happening right now in yeah. politics, right? Are you pay attention to that kind of stuff? I do. Okay. Yeah. Do you feel like your generation, that's also there or is it less? 100%, I think it's totally there. And I think that uh, the extremes and the polarization goes away with more education. One of my favorite classes at Boise High was my econ class. And one thing I noticed is like, you sit here and you make all these different political opinions, but you don't actually know anything behind the economics. So you're like, oh yeah, like I really believe this, I really believe this, but why? And a lot of people can't answer that why. And when you educate yourself, you actually can answer that why, and I've noticed that I've become a lot more moderate once I've done that. I feel like there's always gonna be some level of polarization, um, but maybe less so, just because we've seen how it negative, it's negatively impacted um, our politics now. I mean, we're human. We're obviously going to have these biases that you know we carry with us, but I think that polarization comes from older generations that is kind of inherited into our own generation, especially if we're talking about like the political side of things. Um, a lot of us get our political ideologies from our families. I think we've kind of ha have found this middle ground to essentially get together, express our opinions, our concerns, and put that aside. And I think that's something that is very unique to our own generation. Quite a juxtaposition compared to Midvale seniors that we spoke to earlier this week. All three of those from Boise High, though, even though they are all headed out of state for college, they do plan to return to Boise someday because they say they want to say in Idaho's future. OK, so those same seniors, plus the other 525 in their class, they weren't going to leave school without leaving their mark. You see, this isn't just their last year at Boise High. It's also their beloved principal, Mr. Thompson's, and they were not going to let him go empty handed. In an Instagram post from the school, they said, here we present our first part of the senior gift for our king, Mr. Thompson. You've truly made every day a great day to be a brave, and we will all miss you dearly. Look at that picture. That is amazing. The artist, not Rembrandt, but graduating senior Flannery Strife, who has been doing portraits for a little more than a year now. She was asked to do that just a few weeks ago, and on her Instagram post, her Instagram post, she also posted progressive pics of the painting, which are pretty amazing themselves. She really nailed that true image of Mr. Thompson. As we get to the final picture, there it is. Yeah, pretty good. Shading, shading, all that kind of stuff. Yep, even got frame help from her dad, helped putting it together. Flannery told us today she wasn't sure where the idea for the Elizabethan look came from, but it fits. Um, well, for us at Boise High, we have a kind of a joking relationship with Mr. Thompson, and it kind of just represents that, you know, we see him as like the king of Boise High and wanted to give him kind of a serious gift, but also um, kind of a silly one because that's just how the student body kind of relates with him. So at the final student council meeting, oh my God. Oh my God. two morrows prior, they bid adieu to their king by presenting him his portrait. How did he receive it? Oh, really well. He bent over laughing, and he said he tried not to pee his pants laughing. So I think he received it well. That's not very regal to do that. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it will take a lot more than that to ruin this royal reputation. God save thee, sire. I love that. Principal Thompson is moving into the district office, by the way, after 11 years at Boise High. He told us today he was incredibly touched by that portrait and found the combination of appreciation, sincerity, and humor to perfectly describe his and his students' mutual admiration for one another. This is just part one of the Boise Brave Senior Gift. We don't know what part two is. It's supposed to be revealed later this week or, or next week, but sure not sure how they're going to top that one.